wanted to demonstrate this. Uh, this is a piece of calcite with a piece of tape on one side of the, of the crystal. If I flip it this way, you can see that the image of the tape as it passes through the calcite breaks up into two different paths. This is called birefringence uh, in, in physics and in optics. Um, each one of the images there is uh, linearly polarized, but they are perpendicular to each other. Now, according to um, some of the websites that I've seen, uh, 90 degrees um, away from the sun in a big, great circle surrounding the sun, uh, there is a region in the sky where the light is partially linearly polarized. And so if I were able to use this, let me see if I can do this now. The sun is supposedly in this direction right now, but if I turn sideways, you may notice that one of the images of the tape gets darker, all right? And so, uh, and then it starts to fade back uh, to where it's supposed to be, but it, it's darkest, darkest along this region here. And so if I go up this way, it's still dark, but if I get closer towards the sun, they start to even out in terms of the, you know, one being brighter than the other, they're about the same right now. Now let me go the other way. The left one should get darker again because that's the one that is linearly polarized uh, in the same orientation. So along this direction here, if I hold this up, you can see that uh, the left tape seems to be darker than the right tape image. And so the great big circle that goes around the sun, you can sort of map this out all the way around the sky like this, going from one side all the way to the other side like this, if we are careful enough. And then we can use this to figure out the location of the sun in the sky when it's cloudy. And so the sunstone of the Vikings, uh, the legendary sunstone is supposedly uh, supposed to be a piece of calcite like this. Um, there's no proof of this as of you know yet, but um, this type of calcite um, was found uh, in Iceland. And so, as we know, Vikings may have uh, ventured out into the Atlantic Ocean and possibly landed, uh, definitely landed in Iceland. So um, the legend may hold true in terms of this type of stone being the legendary sunstone, which helped them navigate across the Atlantic Ocean. Anyways, um, that's it for this demonstration. Cheers.